हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक एंड यू आर वाचिंग योर मेडिसिन चैनल एमएमएस व्हिच मेक्स मेडिसिन सिंपल यस फ्रेंड्स मेडिसिन इज फन इफ यू मेक इट सिंपल सो इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोग्नोसिस इन रोमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस पेशेंट फ्रॉम आवर रोमेटोलॉजी सीरीज एंड टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टॉक ऑन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ रोमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस सो एज वी नो दैट रोमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस इज एन ऑटोइम्यून क्रोनिक सिमेट्रिक सिस्टेमिक इन्फ्लेमेटरी टाइप ऑफ आर्थराइटिस एंड व्हिच इज कॉमन इन फीमेल्स वी हैव वन रोमेटॉइड फैक्टर which is an igm against the fc portion of igg also there will be elevated levels of esr and crp the inflammatory markers hepcidin and platelets the acute phase reactants so when we talk about the management that means the treatment in rheumatoid arthritis patient so that can be divided in non pharmacological and pharmacological treatments right so when we talk about the non pharmacological treatments that can be different kind of exercises right like stretching cycling yoga tai chi right when we talk about the pharmacological management that can be some medications like use of nsaids glucocorticoids dmards and also rheuma surgery right the arthroplasty so as the disease progresses the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis can be classified into non pharmacological management that is exercise physiotherapy rest and education and pharmacological managements like use of nsaids dmards the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs and corticosteroids don't we confuse with corticosteroids and glucocorticoids because glucocorticoids is one of the class of corticosteroids and biologicals these are the new agents used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and when all this treatment failed then we go for rheuma surgery that is arthroplasty right so we will see them one by one now when we talk about the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis there are several developments during the past two decades and that have changed the therapeutic approach in rheumatoid arthritis management and they include the emergence of methotrexate as the disease modifying anti rheumatic drug dmard the first choice of treatment in early rheumatoid arthritis also the development of novel and highly efficacious biologicals that can be used alone or in combination with methotrexate also the proven superiority of combination dmard regimens over methotrexate alone so the medication used for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis may be divided into broad categories such as nsaids non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs glucocorticoids such as prednisone and methylprednisolone conventional dmards and biological dmards so now let's see one by one about these So now first we will talk about the NSAIDs non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs so NSAIDs exhibit both analgesic and anti inflammatory properties and the anti inflammatory property of NSAIDs is driven by their ability to non selectively inhibit the cyclooxygenase cox1 and cox2 also chronic use of NSAID should be minimized due to the side effects like gastritis peptic ulcer disease impairment of the renal function and ischemic heart disease isd the commonly used nsaids in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis are ibuprofen celecoxib and indomethacin so please take a note that nsaids in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis they just alleviate the inflammatory joint manifestations such as stiffness swelling and pain they do not slow the progression of disease right Now let's talk about the DMARDs, the disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. So the name DMARD because of their ability to slow or prevent the structural progression of rheumatoid arthritis, and the conventional DMARDs include hydroxychloroquine, sulfasalazine, methotrexate, and lefunomide, and they exhibit a delayed onset of action that is around six to twelve weeks. That means to assess or to observe the therapeutic benefit of DMARDs in your rheumatoid patient, you have to wait for six to twelve weeks, right from the time of your first treatment. Among DMARDs. methotrexate is the demand of choice and produces anti inflammatory effect by producing or stimulating adenosine release from the cells hydroxychloroquine doesn't delay the radiographic progression of disease that's why not a true demand used for the treatment of early and mild disease or also as an adjunctive therapy with other demands sulfasalazine reduces the radiographic progression of disease whereas also minocycline gold salts penicillamine azathioprine and cyclosporine used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis 
Biologics. So biologics are the protein therapeutics designed mostly to target the cytokines and cell surface molecules. So TNF inhibitors, tumor necrosis factor inhibitors, were the first biologicals approved for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Anakindra, an interleukin-1 receptor antagonist, was also approved shortly. Abatacept, rituximab, and tocilizumab are the newest members of this class. So biologicals slow the progression of joint destruction in rheumatoid arthritis patient with a special focus on immune targets, especially the cytokines such as interleukin-1, interleukin-17, interleukin-6, and B cells, with fewer side effects than the DMARs, though they are very expensive as compared to DMARs and the other therapeutic approach for rheumatoid arthritis. Now let's talk about the glucocorticoids. So glucocorticoids are the potent immunosuppressants with a wide range of actions like cytokine inhibition, inhibit the arachidonic acid production, inhibit the enzyme induction, inhibition of T-cell proliferation and induction of apoptosis. So glucocorticoids control the disease activity in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. So chronic administration of the low doses that is 5 to 10 mg per day of prednisone should be used in patients with an inadequate response to DMAR therapy. Also high dose glucocorticoids for the treatment of severe and extra articular manifestations of rheumatoid arthritis such as ILD, interstitial lung disease. Patients who exhibit one or few actively inflamed joints, then intra-articular injection of an intermediate acting glucocorticoid such as triamcinolone acetonide should be given. Though osteoporosis is one of the long-term complications of chronic prednisone use, that's why bisphosphonate should be given in patients receiving 5 mg per day or more prednisone for more than 3 months. Glucocorticoids use also increase the risk of peptic ulcer disease, especially with concomitant NSAID use. So now we will talk about the surgical management in rheumatoid arthritis. So surgical procedures may improve the pain and disability in rheumatoid arthritis, most notably the hands, wrist and feet, typically after the failure of medical therapy. Joint arthroplasty is an option for advanced joint disease. Silicone implants are the most common prosthetic for MCP arthroplasty. You can see here the correction made by doctors. So also the arthrodesis and the total risk arthroplasty are reserved for patients with severe disease and who have the substantial pain and functional impairment. So now, last but not least, we will talk about the exercise for rheumatoid arthritis. So regular exercise is the key to keep a control on rheumatoid arthritis pain and stiffness. So what exercises are good in rheumatoid arthritis. So these are working, right? That slow the disease activity and also strengthens your bones and muscles. Stretching that improve the muscle coordination and reduces muscle tension. Cycling, which improve your joint mobility and improve the body postures. Yoga, that balance the metabolism and also improve the muscle strength. And lastly, Tai Chi, that improve the aerobic strength and improve balance and agility. So this is all about the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. So this is the last lecture on rheumatoid arthritis and in our upcoming lectures we will talk on osteoarthritis and gout. So thank you so much guys for watching and please do subscribe to the channel to get all latest videos like this and especially help my this beautiful imaginary patient Simran who is having rheumatoid arthritis to reach and tease more and more people like her about this nasty disease rheumatoid arthritis. So thank you so much guys, stay happy, study a lot.